Well, that story we've been talking about all morning mm -hmm. by kids and diets. It really caught our eye because we've all heard of cleansing for many adults. It's a good tool to lose weight and get healthy. But an article in the New York Post revealed a startling new twist. It's stirring up some controversy. Kids who are cleansing. ABC's Rena Nyan has the details. Cleansing, a red-hot celebrity pastime. Superstar couple Jay-Z and Beyonce recently did a vegan cleanse. No animal or dairy products. And Salma Hayek calls juice cleansing her meditation. But what about a cleanse for your kids and teens? I feel a little weak, much weaker than normal and a little tired. But I'm not hungry. 17-year-old Emmy Heyman is in the middle of a five-day blueprint juice cleanse with her mom, drinking six a day. I definitely don't think it's the most nutritious thing to do. I think it's very much like flushing out toxins in your body. Mom Joanne says she's only allowing it because she believes Emmy is done growing, has a healthy relationship with food, and saw it as a fun challenge. Do you worry that juicing is such an extreme thing and she's such, she's just a teenager? If I thought that there were any really negative health risks, I would never have let her do it. For five days, it's an experiment. It's not, it's not a huge life event. Still, experts are concerned. Cleansing is extreme. You know, it's fine if a child wants to have a cup of kale juice with their lunch, but kids have nutrient needs. They need protein and calcium for growth and development. At just 13 years old, Kendall Grayboff took cues from her 21-year-old brother. He dropped 22 pounds with a fresh fruit and veggie diet. I was always healthy, but I wanted to do something more. She says she's done a two-week cleanse twice in her short life, completely cutting sugar, carbs, dairy, and meat. We did it as a family in a very healthy light, using fresh fruits and vegetables. This is something they can do as a lifestyle. It's a total lifestyle change. For Good Morning America, Rena Nine and ABC News, New York. Of course, Bluepin recommends that if children are going to use their juices, they should do so under the supervision of a medical professional. Let's go to the poll. We asked you, would you let your child do a cleanse? Not even close today. 5% said yes. 95% said no. No surprise to our senior medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton. We'll get to the kids in a second. We we'll just talk about cleanses in general for well, adults. I mean, for adults, you guys, I mean, doctors, myself included, tend to be very skeptical, skeptical about the health benefits of a cleanse. There's very little data. They tend to be very high in sugar. You're not getting fiber. You're not getting protein. And their claims to be effective in terms of weight loss, that is all lean muscle mass. So that's not the weight you want to lose. And so how, what would you recommend for parents who are thinking about this for their children, thinking it's a good thing. Look, I would rather see a child or a teenager drink a fresh green juice than a soda, no question. Mm -hmm. But I think that the key with this, as in so many other things, is moderation. So we juice in our household, but we make that green juice and we serve it alongside yes. the scrambled yeah, eggs. Right. So with a healthy, balanced and they, meal. And they actually drink it in your house? Because I try. <laughs> um, I try. So hard. I, bribe green, yeah. I bribe them. I bribe them. I was always told growing up that you shouldn't drink drink your calories. So it flies yeah. in the face of that for what a hundred percent, Amy, that is absolutely correct. And with kids or teenagers, you don't want them drinking their nutrition. You want them actually eating it. It takes longer to digest. And you have to ask yourself, there's a distinction here between nutrition and this concept of a cleanse. And that's what needs to be reconciled. And when you're talking about teenagers and kids, we have a saying in medicine, kids are not little adults. Right. So just because it's okay for us to do something does not mean it's safe or okay. That's what I was going to ask you, because she says, oh, well, she's fully grown. But I, I, to me, it seems like it's just an, a, an emotional thing, too, where you want kids to not sort of get the idea that, oh, I should drink it and plant seeds of, of self-doubt or, or needing to get Absolutely. thin. Absolutely. Now, look, I think that all moms want to do what's best for their kids, and this Absolutely. mom was no different. Yeah. But again, teenagers, this extreme behavior, when you're talking about yeah. something like eating, Three potentially mm -hmm. too risky, slope. very right. slippery.